Hi, today we're going to be looking at our famous Spencer Chesterfield. Now the Spencer Chesterfield is more or less, more I would refer to people as the bulkier, wider arm, back Chesterfield with the more European effect, which I'll get into in a minute. As we can see, we've got the three-seater, which is just under 2.2 metres wide. We've got the two-seater, just under 180. And we've got the tub chair, which is a little bit wider than normal, at around about 1.2 metres. Now, we're going to go into the features of the Spencer, its comfort, and the differences between, say, a Premier, which is and all the Dunhill for that matter. Now, on the Spencer, what we've got is a bigger arm than normal. Most Chesterfields, the arms are around about 25 centimetres. The Spencer goes to around about 30. Same with the back, a little bit wider. Slightly higher in the back than the Premier, and just a little bit straighter. So when I sit in it, as you can see, I'm not leaning back too much and I'm not too far forward, so perfect. The arm feature. Normally on a lot of the Chesterfields, the arm is smaller. It's got all leather here with the stud work around. We can put the stud work, only advisable on darker colours, which we've made. Um, we keep it white, uh, as very famous on one of our pictures. We've got on the other side. No, we haven't here. But what we've got here is, instead of having all the leather, this is the more Italian, European flavoured of the Chesterfield look. You've got pleating. All beautiful handmade pleating all the way around on all the arms. Internal piping. And then you've got your single button. You can't put a double because it's much smaller on the bottom. That's why a lot of people, if they want that, they go dispenser. Again, our pattern coil cushions, as you can see. I can't sink, and I'm never going to sink on this. That's just the whole purpose of it. Um, sprung back, the base is sprung, and then the coils obviously are sprung. So you basically got a sofa so strong, so durable that again in 20, 30 years time, it's still going to look like this. Now white obviously is a bit different. At the moment, pretty hard to see in the camera sometimes, but it is a pure white. Pure white, I tend to say to people more for looks, not for everyday use. Um, if you're going to try and get an everyday use, I'd say go a shade down and go an off-white, which would be much better for everyday use. Um, what I tend to say to a lot of customers is, white is a funny colour. You're either going to get real white leather or you're going to get a fake white leather, which is a PVC. Um, in both cases, if you're a dominant jeans wearer, um, the jeans of today manufactured is not the jeans of 20 years ago made in the United States. So they bleed a lot. Um, especially the, the lower quality ones. So you'll find that your pure white will get that blue bleed come through, the dye come through, uh, very small over a long period of time. Um, so that's why we give those that advice because people are not told that in stores. Um, your leathers, doesn't matter from your whites, blacks, to your antique colours. Like I said, the Spencer is a really beautiful sofa. Um, it really is probably the second to third most popular. Um, again, I'm getting a lot of people buying it in the lighter colours than in the darker colours, but I've, I've made a four-seater not long ago for a friend of mine in a whiskey colour and it just looked a million dollars. So, as I say to people, um, you're creating your design, your look, so you should go with what you want. Um, we give advice. You know, salespeople should, but never just go by what a salesman says. You should go by what you want. It's in your home. You're going to live with it. Um, as, I, as I said before, it is a beautiful sofa. Proportionally, all the buttons set in. Um, none of this cheap Chinese stuff I keep telling people you see out there where they're big, fat diamonds, which they're not real Chesterfields. You've got your bun feet. And you've got, again, like I said, the option you can go piping only, you can go studs. Uh, you can keep it probably even plain on the bottom if you would, but you take away that beautiful look of the Chesterfield. Now we're going to have a bit of a look around. We'll go on the two-seater. As I said, as you can see, 
all our sofas are fully featured. Now, if you have a look on the side, again, it curves just nicely. All your panelling. All the way around. And as I said, the finish is always the, one of the most important. You can see the tub a little bit bigger than normal. Now, give people an idea with the tub. Now, with the tub, most of your tubs you'd be about here. As you can see, really nice and big. If you've got the room, she's about a 1.2, a lot of internal space. And as you can see, really nice, comfortable chair. Also, too, I'm finding if people are tall or short, again, same scenario. This is really a good uh, cushion height to the floor. So unless you're really, really short, um, you won't have problems on a Spencer. You won't have to put a pillow behind to bring you forward. The depths are always Australian standard that are around about 90 centimetres. We do have now Chesterfields which are in the 95 to 100, but that's a different series. We'll get into another day. As you can see with the tub chair, you can't go wrong with it. Really comfortable, got a lot of presence, nice support on my back. And that's the other thing. A lot of people go into a Chesterfield, oh, it's low, it's a bit firmer. Um, it's like a mattress, I say to people. The softer it is, the more you're going to be inside it and you're going to get a sore back over time. Same with a sofa. If you're sinking down and going back, you're going to be able to always trying to force yourself out of a chair. The coils sprung back, nice, big and solid. You stay up straight. I can sit in here for an hour, get up and my back feels perfect. Um, you go into those sofas, very modern, very soft. You're sinking. You go into those sofas, very modern, very soft. You're sinking. Oh, yeah, it's great. Let me know how your back goes down the track. Yeah, I guarantee it won't be that crash hot. Um, I tend to say to people, a Chesterfield, m people do think it's not comfortable for you, but it is the best support for your back you can get. I know you don't get neck support, but like I said, you find a lot of people really stay straight and upright and, again, easy to get out. You know, you're not forcing yourself out. Well, that is our famous Spencer Chesterfield. If you're looking for something in white... Um, like I said, you can't go wrong. And I did say just earlier that to give you an idea of what we call the baby Spencer, this is the Victoria. As you can see, the Victoria is very similar, even though this is the corner, just to give you an idea, in white also. If you look very closely, you've got the Spencer in the background, and then you've got the Victoria. As you can see, the arm much smaller that's a 25 arm so even on the if you don't want the spencer because it's too bulky in the arms and back you can always go victoria and as you can see all the same features but it's a skinnier arm skinnier back you can get in a three-seater two-seater corner whatever one wants but that gives you a great idea of what happens if you go a little bit smaller you go to the victoria Well, I've always got the Spencer here on display, so hope you guys, if you're in Melbourne, come down into state. That's why I do the video, so I can give you sort of an in-depth look in-house. And, um, yeah, if you've got any questions, always, as I say, please give us a call or an email, and we'll help you out. Thanks for watching our famous Spencer Chesterfield.